Have you ever wondered if entire cities could exist beneath our feet? Nestled in the arid expanses of Libya, the ancient city of Gadamis presents a fascinating instance of this phenomenon. Known as the Pearl of the Desert, Gadams harbors a hidden world beneath its sun-baked streets. The city's underground dwellings, a marvel of traditional architecture, were ingeniously crafted to combat the scorching desert heat. This subterranean network is not merely a refuge from the climate, but a testament to human ingenuity and adaptation. The design of these dwellings utilizes thick mud brick walls that insulate interiors from the desert's extreme temperatures, creating a comfortable living environment year-round. Above ground, Gadamis appears as a typical ancient town, but the real mystery lies in its labyrinthine passageways below, where an entire community once thrived, protected from the harsh outer elements. Join us as we uncover the secrets of Gadamis, a city that thrives both above and below the earth. Imagine a city designed like a labyrinth, where every turn holds a new secret. Welcome to Gadamis, where the architecture itself is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Nestled in the heart of the Libyan desert, Gadamis, also known as the Pearl of the Desert, showcases a stunning array of whitewashed buildings. These structures are not just pleasing to the eye, but are a masterclass in environmental adaptation. The bright white facades serve a critical function. They reflect the blistering desert sun, significantly reducing the heat absorbed by the buildings. This is crucial in a region where temperatures can soar to extreme highs. But the marvel doesn't end with what meets the eye. These buildings are interconnected, their shared walls helping to further insulate the interiors from the harsh climate. The design creates narrow covered passageways between the houses, which not only provide shade but also funnel the cooler air through the city, acting as a form of natural air conditioning. This ingenious system allows the breeze to circulate, making the scorching desert heat bearable. Descending from the sunlit streets, the underground dwellings of Gadames reveal themselves. These subterranean structures were the city's lifeline. During the peak summer months when even the whitewashed walls and shaded alleys could not repel the heat, the inhabitants would move to these underground sanctuaries. Cool and shielded from the sun, they offered a respite from the desert's fury, maintaining more consistent temperatures. Historically, they also provided protection from potential invaders, serving as a hidden fortress where the entire community could safely retreat. These architectural strategies are not just historic relics, but are testimonies to the ingenuity of the Gadams people. They crafted a habitat that merged seamlessly with the environment, turning adversities into advantages. Gadams is not just a marvel of ancient engineering, but also a testament to human ingenuity in adapting to the harshest environments. How do people live in a city divided between the sun and the shade? In Gadames, life dances to the rhythm of the seasons, weaving a unique tapestry of existence that beautifully blends the traditional with the practical. The daily life in Gadames is a marvel of adaptation. Here, the city's architecture plays a pivotal role in the residents' everyday activities. During the scorching summer months, the community retreats to their ingeniously constructed underground homes. These subterranean havens provide a cool respite from the desert heat thanks to their thick mud brick walls and narrow passageways that funnel the cooler air. It's in these cool depths that much of Gadame's daily life unfolds, when the sun reigns supreme. Above ground, the winter months offer a stark contrast. As the harsh sun yields to milder temperatures, the city's rooftops and interconnected passageways burst into life. Children play in the narrow lanes, while adults gather on the terraces, savoring the warmth of the sun. This seasonally driven shift in living spaces is not just a matter of comfort, but a rhythm set by centuries of architectural evolution and environmental wisdom. Socially and economically, Gadamis thrives on its communal spirit. The city's marketplace, a vibrant hub of activity located primarily above ground, is where the exchange of goods and stories takes place. Here, artisans sell handmade crafts and traditional wares, from intricately woven carpets to hand-painted ceramics, each piece telling a story of Gadames' rich cultural heritage. Culturally, the city is a canvas of old and new. Traditional music and dance are often performed during festivals and communal gatherings, echoing through the archways and spilling into the courtyards. These celebrations are not just social events, but a way for the people of Gadames to connect with their ancestors and pass down traditions through generations. 
The unique lifestyle of Gadames's residence offers a fascinating glimpse into a community perfectly adapted to its environment. Gadames has witnessed empires rise and fall, but what has remained constant in this ancient city? Nestled deep in the desert near the borders of Libya, Algeria and Tunisia, Gadames, often referred to as the Pearl of the Desert, has roots stretching back to antiquity. Originally established as a Berber settlement, it has served as a critical juncture in the Trans-Saharan trade routes, linking the African continent to Europe and the Middle East. The strategic significance of Gadames cannot be overstated. As a bustling oasis town, it was a lifeline in the harsh desert, offering water, shelter and a marketplace for the exchange of goods like salt, gold, ivory and slaves. This trade brought wealth and a diverse array of cultural influences that shaped the city's unique societal and architectural fabric. Over the centuries, Gadama saw the footprints of various rulers and empires. The Romans, who valued the city for its position on the caravan routes, left their mark. Following them, the Byzantines and later the powerful Islamic Caliphates integrated Gadames into their vast territories. Each era infused the city with new architectural styles and social customs, from Roman inscriptions to Islamic geometric art. Significant historical events also left their imprint on the city. The arrival of Islam in the 7th century was a turning point, introducing new religious and social norms. The city's architecture evolved with the construction of mosques and madrasas, which became centers of learning and spirituality. In more recent history, Gadames played a part in the Ottoman Empire and was affected by the colonial scrambles of the 19th and 20th centuries. Each layer of governance added complexity to the city's cultural tapestry, influencing everything from governance to daily life. The sands of time have left their mark on Gadames, creating a mosaic of cultural and historical influences. This rich history not only tells the story of a city, but also of a crossroads of civilizations, where despite the shifting sands and changing rulers, the spirit of Gadames has endured, resilient and vibrant. Beneath the surface of Gadames lie stories and legends as intricate as its passageways. In the heart of the Sahara, this ancient city whispers tales of hidden treasures and secret tunnels, each story woven into the very fabric of its existence. Imagine passageways so secretive, they're said to have been the escape routes of lovers fleeing disapproving families or the hidden paths of warriors evading enemies. These legends not only intrigue but offer a glimpse into the strategic importance of Gadames as a historical crossroads of cultures and trade. One such legend speaks of the Golden Room, an underground chamber rumored to be filled with the gold and jewels of a forgotten Berber king. It's said that this room, accessible only through a series of puzzles and hidden doors, has eluded treasure hunters for centuries. Whether fact or fiction, this tale captures the imagination and speaks to the human fascination with undiscovered wealth. Then there are the stories of the Blue Men of the Desert, nomadic tribes believed to possess ancient knowledge about the labyrinthine tunnels of Gadames. According to lore, these desert dwellers could navigate the complex network of underground passages without ever seeing the light of day, protecting their secrets and treasures. These myths and legends do more than just entertain. They encapsulate the values of the Gadam's people, ingenuity, resilience and a deep connection to their land. They remind us that in places like Gadam's, history and folklore are deeply intertwined, each lending meaning and mystery to the other. The legends of Gadams are as captivating as the city itself, blurring the lines between history and myth. As we surface from the depths of Gadames, what have we learned about this enigmatic city? We've explored its underground dwellings, designed to shield inhabitants from the desert's harsh climes and wandered through its complex labyrinth of passageways. We've delved into the daily routines of its people, the rich history that has shaped every corner, and the legends that breathe life into its ancient stones. Gadames is not just an architectural marvel, it's a testament to human ingenuity and endurance. Gadames remains a living museum, a hidden gem in the desert that continues to tell the story of human resilience and creativity.